NORCAST Weather Channel. Get into the holiday spirit by visiting Candy Cane Lounge at the Resorts Atlantic City where you can enjoy a specialty holiday cocktail like the Mistletoe Martini or Candy Cane Kringle. Check it out running now through January 3rd. Good Sunday afternoon. Meteorologist Bobby Clark here with an update on your forecast. Merry Christmas to everybody out there who's celebrating. Hope your holiday is going fantastic so far today. And the weather department, uh, unfortunately, Mother Nature didn't really give us a nice gift today, that's for sure, but certainly a tad better than yesterday. And the silver line today, as I keep saying, the fact that we do have sunshine out there, but in terms of the temperatures and those gusty west-northwesterly winds, unfortunately, keeping us much colder out there, near zero once again. So if you're heading on out later this afternoon or into the evening hours, maybe go visit family. Definitely will need to bundle up as we're still going to be on the chilly and windy side. So cold and windy heading into this evening on into the overnight hours itself. Now, as we head into this week, I know a big travel week for a lot of people visiting and whatnot and traveling to go to do either vacations or going to visit family. The good news is we're going to start below normal in terms of temperatures, but no major storm systems to worry about. So if you've got any kind of major travel plans, you're in some great shape, unlike we dealt with last Thursday and Friday and extended on the milder side. I can even possibly call it warm. Could be talking about 60s by the time we hit next weekend. Wow, right? After what we were dealing with this past weekend? Well, we'll talk about that in just a couple of moments. In terms of precipitation, as I mentioned here, nothing to really worry about for the rest of this week going on into the next weekend itself. Next chance of seeing any kind of precipitation looks to be possibly New Year's Day on into, I know most people are off January 2nd celebrating the holiday, so that might be the next chance of seeing. But overall, as I mentioned, no travel plans or, excuse me, no travel issues if you're heading out and about. As for your Monday, getting up to the low to mid 30s out there, a little bit better tomorrow. I think cloud cover builds as we head towards the afternoon. That's because a warm front's going to start to push into the region itself and help to shift our winds just a bit more out of the west, even west southwest. So it won't be that chilly west northwesterly wind that we've been dealing with all this weekend and making it feel that much colder out there. So we continue to see the sun, sunny skies out there, clear skies as we head into the evening hours itself. Here comes that warm front extending in from the Great Lakes. Could bring us some cloud covers. I mentioned Monday on into Tuesday. Wednesday, looking good. Thursday, also seeing some cloud cover push on in here. But a more west to southwesterly flow is coming in all out of the Gulf of Mexico. That's because of, of a building storm system that's going to come into the plains itself and take its time. So it's going to help to build the warm air for us as we head into next weekend. Take, as I mentioned here with the extended outlook, look at this. We're talking possibly 20 to 25 degrees above normal for this time of year. So yes, if we're talking about possibly pushing 70 by the time we hit New Year's Day, and that's amazing coming from the fact that we were 25 to 30 degrees below normal yesterday and about 20 degrees below normal for today, but certainly will be big changes as we head into the end of next week. Seven day forecast again, mostly cloudy on Tuesday. Wednesday, I think starts off with clouds. I think we see some sunny skies later on. Depends on how quickly that warm front can get through this area. But then here we go. Here comes the trend of my, much milder air out there. Thursday on to Friday, temperatures about 54 degrees. And then here's the exclusive Norcast plus three days. By next weekend, 61 for Saturday, 66 for Sunday, possibly pushing 70 degrees in the area. Some of the areas, unbelievable, right? With chance of showers also on Monday. And then everybody returns to school and work on January 3rd. 50 degrees looks like we're back to normal for those uh, normal conditions for this time of year. Have a great rest of the afternoon, everybody. Merry Christmas.